Hello, this is HG Baby, and welcome back to Let's Play Bahamut Lagoon! Let's try taking back Kana's flagship from the Grambellos Empire. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with here first. Up front, we've got five groups of three soldiers to deal with. Five! Three sub! So since all of these guys are rank D, and means most of the items that we're going to be getting from them are just elemental grass there that we can feed our dragons like before. Let's see, further back we got our old friends, the Ice Magi, who are rank C, so we can actually get some pretty decent equipment from them that I'd like to acquire. And then in the back, oh yeah, they also got some soldiers along with them this time, too. And in the back, we got the boss himself, Lanzen Ritter who has a javelin throw ability, like they were saying, that has a range of six, and it can hit multiple uh, enemies at a time, or multiple allies in this case. So you want to avoid keeping your party members like right next to each other like that, or they and the Ice Magi will take advantage of that. But let's see. So in this battle, since Lands and Ritter is denoted as boss this time, if you paid attention last time, the objective is just to defeat the boss. So, if you, once you defeat that guy, the battle is over. But, in order to get to the guy, you're probably going to have to go through most of the enemies anyway. Not to mention, I'm feeling rather bloodthirsty today, and I would like to uh, get as much money and items from the other enemies anyway as I can. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so... With our party now, we got a fourth dragon, and we also got more party members joining up. So, let's see what we can do here. Let's see, well, Bia's group is the same as before, except now we upgraded Salmando, so that means we have a lot more abilities to work with. So, we got different elements this time. Drug hit. <laughs> I never use that, though, because it's non-elemental there, and... Non elemental drops are terrible. But most importantly, we got earth elemental attacks now. So we can win earth grass from the soldiers there instead of like fire, ice, and thunder, which only improve their innate elements by one. Earth improves fire, ice, and thunder per grass. So that's a lot better for us to try and win from these guys. Okay, so to start. I'm not going to move here, I just want to soften up the enemies a little bit with Salmando there. Because if I move forward more, a lot of the soldiers would be able to gang up on Salmando there. And I would like to be able to use him for a pretty good chunk of the fight here. So I'd rather he not take too much damage. So that's, so you see how I manipulated Salmando there, I set him to come so that way he wouldn't go halfway across the battlefield and start attacking other enemies in the back there who will probably leave us alone for quite some time. Let's see. So we soften up some of the soldiers there. I don't want to soften them up anymore because if I do, then a dragon might be able to finish them off with an assist and then I wouldn't be able to get earth grass from them or not very likely. Now, in Manolite's group, we got a couple more heavy armors with us this time. So, they're the same as Barkley. They're all basically, they're all identical as far as their abilities are concerned. But, yeah, since I upgraded Ice Drake there, we got some more elements to work with. Most importantly, Earth Smash! So, they can help out with winning Earth Grass as well. So, let's see. So, with his group, let's move up here a little bit. And I'll just leave Ice Drake on wait. I don't want to attack the enemies anymore. From range, that is. But I do want to use Inspire, not to damage anything or destroy anything, just for the experience, because I'm not going to be using it in battle, since there aren't many Thunder Elemental drops that I want to win, so I might as well just use it on nothing to get a little experience. And that's something that I do quite a bit early in the game until we get, like, more movement range to let us 
get closer to the enemies faster. Okay, so in Molten's group here, we got, uh, well, a different priest, but they're the same as the other ones that we had before. The light armor, and we got a new job class, Mini Devils, which are kind of like dragon party members in a way, because they act randomly, you can't directly control them in direct combat, and they got Devil Dance, which uses a random ability. So, like, uh, let's see, that hits a radius of four, and that could potentially heal everyone in that radius, or hit them all with thunder, or fire, or whatever they got there, but it's chosen at random, so I really don't like mini devils. I will try to avoid using them as much as possible. So let's see, to start things out here, let's keep Molten on weight. I don't want you to get too frisky and attack the soldiers and then get ganged up on there, but I do want to try putting some of them to sleep. So let's see what we got here. Sleep, damn you! Did it work? No, it didn't work on anything. Okay. <laughs> well, at least we still get experience out of it. If I did manage to put all of them to sleep, that squad wouldn't be able to move at all. But if, like, only one or two got put to sleep, they would still move, but the soldier that's asleep would still be asleep there. But, uh, okay, so, let's see what we got here. Okay, so, with Sundax group, we got another wizard. And one of the nice things about having a lot of wizards in the same squad is that they enhance each other's abilities. Kind of like Bravely Default in a way. So let's see. So with Thunder Hand there, we got, well, 11 Thunder. So we only have a level 1 Thunder spell with a single wizard. But because we have all of them in the same group there, when you use an ability on the field and multiple party members have that ability, they all cast it at once on the field and pull all their levels together. So we got three level one thunder spells here. So that's pretty nice. So wizards are really good at softening up enemies on the field with a lot more precision than dragons have. The reason why Flame Gaze is level four is because Sendak also has Flame Gaze there as well, but he doesn't learn Ice or Thunder there. These are all the red magic spells that he's ever going to get, but there are summons later on. We'll go over that when we get there. But uh, yeah, all that matters is the name of the ability, not the magic type that you draw it from there. It still counts towards that. In any case, I am not going to be doing that because I'd rather buff up my party instead. So let's see, from here, hmm, let's go right there. We'll set Thunderhawk to come. Hopefully Thunderhawk will try and soften up some of those soldiers as well. Or, well, wait a minute, do I want to do that? No, I, I don't want to do that, right. That's why I didn't do that with uh, Ice Drake there. Yeah, let's just go with Bingo on Bu's group there because Bu has his Earth Hit that he can use to mow down a large group of soldiers there. So chances are what's going to happen is some of the soldiers are going to go after Salmando there. Salmando will soften them up even more. And I don't want Salmando to assist and then finish them off before I can kill them with Earth. Because if I kill them with fire, I'm mostly just going to get flame grass. But I want to get Earth grass from as many soldiers as possible. I would like to get at least 10 from all the soldiers in this battle. And that's very realistic without save scumming. Because uh, Earth grass or any elemental grass really is a 3 and 4 drop from rank D enemies. And there's like a 1 in 4 drop for each element as well. And for Earth, it's actually pretty good still, too. Okay, so, let's see. We got that group to deal with. And, okay, that was the other one we softened up. All the rest are still at max. The reason why I put my priests here, or, well, the one priest there, is because, you see, you can't move to the right there because there's that cliff in the way. So I kind of hid behind it so that way the soldiers couldn't just go straight at me to attack me. So those are pretty nice. But all right, so let's see. With Salmando there, yeah, I'll just leave you on come 
to soften up some of the old other soldiers. I'm not worried about Samando attacking this soldier because Mandalite's group will be able to swoop in there and finish them off before, you know, we could another dragon would or might be able to attack them there. So yeah, let's uh, get that going, and I'm gonna have Bu finish off those soldiers there with Earth Hit, but in the event that the others, or that one of them misses, because it's still a physical attack, even though it might look like a magical attack, it's physical, and so that means the enemies could possibly dodge it. So let's have my knights also get ready to go, just in case, but Bu will act first before them. Okay, so, yeah, we got a little Hellfire. Good thing I didn't soften up those enemies anymore, or that would have killed them. So, yeah, you gotta kind of plan ahead with using your dragons like that. But even if Salmando didn't damage those guys, uh, I still would have been able to one-shot them with Earth Hit, but... All right! Earth Grass! Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of that from this battle. I want to get 10 of them for Thunderhawk, so that way I can raise both Fire and Ice and Thunder by 10. And then Thunderhawk will have access to Earth Elemental stuff. Now you notice there, with the Refresh ability there, the AoE looked like it went into the Soldier group over there, but it doesn't heal them, because there's no such thing as Friendly Fire or well, I don't know what the opposite of friendly fire would be. But, uh, in any case, yeah, healing abilities cannot heal enemies. Although they could damage undead enemies. But you can't, like, restore their HP. And the same thing goes with our own attack abilities. So, like, here, even though it looks like the AoE should hit my own party members, it won't. So it's not like a Final Fantasy Tactics. You don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, by, by the way, for those who don't know, uh, AOE is an abbreviation for Area of Effect. So, not just the guy you're targeting, but the entire area within the effect of that spell there. But, uh, okay, so, let's see, with that guy, hmm, no matter, well, let me see, hold on. Yeah, no matter where I go with Mandalite's group, I'm going to be right next to Bu. I don't think the Ice Magi or the Lands and Ritter will try to take advantage of that. But uh, let me see what I can do here. Okay, I want to take out those guys. And then... I'm just thinking if I want Thunderhawk to get more involved... Or not Thunderhawk, uh, Ice Trick to get involved. And let me see here. No, I don't think so. Because if I go here and then have Ice Drake set to come. Ice Drake might get a little too aggressive and attack the Ice Mage Eye before I'm ready. So I'm gonna stay up here. But uh, the structure there would actually be a good idea to step on because for some reason, when you have buildings or structures in the battlefield there and you start a round on them, it heals all of your party members for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. It's an intended effect, intended gameplay mechanic, but I don't think they ever explain why standing on a building would heal you. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but it does. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's go. Oh, wait, I might want to buff up here. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let me uh, take a moment here. Okay, I want to move back just a little bit there. Now, I want you to try and soften up some of the soldiers. Hopefully, Thunderhawk will hit one of the soldier that's already softened up a little bit there. Get bingo going on Natalite script. And then we'll see what we can do. That's Okay, well, we'll see what we, we got here. I think I can still one-shot the soldiers there in the other group there. Because they already took a little bit of damage and let's see yeah I think we can handle them we'll be fine okay so now yeah let's go over here and yeah let's set you to come and attack 
Unfortunately, none of the soldiers have any field effects, so I'm not worried about putting my party members next to each other. Okay, so with Manalite, I'm going to have him defend because he only has a Fire Elemental attack with the Burning Axe or a Thunder Elemental attack with Inspire, and I don't want either of those to happen because I want to get Earth Grass from these guys to feed to my dragons. So let's get that going on um, everyone there. Okay, good, good. I wasn't entirely sure if I could one-shot them with their HP there. Yeah, we needed Bingo to uh, make this happen. But, uh, alright! So yeah, the 1 in 4 drop for rank D Earth Elemental enemies is Drawer Things, which, if you noticed from last time, they increase your dexterity and mind by 10 which is really good at this point in the game. I don't specifically care about winning those, but they're pretty good still anyway. So yeah, I'll just take what I can get from them. As long as I get all the earth grass that I want. Let's see, okay, so you're there. Hmm. Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter who I attack. Let me see. Okay, if I stay right here, only one of these soldiers is going to be able to attack me. So, I'm okay with that. But I would like to try and put some of them to sleep. So, let's see what we can do. This is actually one of the very, very few battles where I actually like using status ailments. Because... Oh, two of them. Nice. That's a little uncommon, but considering I totally whiffed on the first group, that's okay. But yeah, usually I use priests for, well, healing, not uh, attacking directly there. But, uh, okay, or not putting them to sleep there. But, uh, okay, so now, with this group, let's uh, get some Earth Pulse going there. I should be able to kill all of them, assuming I do not miss. But I don't want Biu to use his Earth Hit, because since he already consumed his Bingo Buff, he wouldn't have been able to one-shot these guys. Although, with that Hellfire, mm, I still don't think he could. Maybe he could have. But I couldn't count on that necessarily happening. And remember, whenever a dragon assists you in combat, it's free of MP cost. So that's pretty nice. So that's one of the things I like about using Bu's squad with Bingo there, because I can have Bu take out one group with Earth Hit, and then the three knights take out another group with their Earth Pulse attacks there. So I kill two groups of enemies for one Bingo spell. But, uh, okay, let's see. What do we got here? Yeah, these guys have... A little too much HP. Hmm, I could try attacking them to soften them up, but if Ice Drake shows up and assists us, then that might kill them. And I don't want to risk using Earth Smash and then Ice Drake not showing up, so there's some random chance to what could happen here. So I'm just going to have everyone defend themselves and not worry about that. But yeah, uh, whenever you get attacked, or you, whenever you defend, you only gain experience if you get attacked, actually, there. But alright. But uh, Ice Drake still could have tried to assist, but they didn't. Okay, so with this group, hmm, well, two of them are asleep. And any of my attacks, whether it's one of my techniques or just a physical attack, could wake them up. That's why the game lets you attack your own party members, so you can wake them up that way. But I don't want to do that. So, let's see. I don't want to waste my MP. So, same thing with the other group. Let's just have everyone defend themselves and conserve our SP. If I ever say MP for a party, 
like this. I mean, SP, they're, it's all the same thing. The uh, Magic Gen item that we picked up last time is like an Ether in a Final Fantasy game. It restores your MP or SP. Although I think the in-game description only says MP. Yeah, yeah, it restores SP as well. They just didn't put that there for whatever reason there. Oh yeah, the Tansible is a revival item. Although I heard another uh, translation of that was reversible. Probably like an L and R sort of thing, which I, I would think that would make a little more sense. Reversible, because it, well, reverses death, right? But, uh, yeah, we shouldn't need to use any magic gins in this battle. It's not that long. But, uh, okay, so let's see. We got, okay, two groups there. Hmm. I'm thinking if I can get my, or get Thunderhawk to be able to soften up one of those groups, I think we can do that. And then, yeah, let's buff up Biu's group there. So, oh, yeah, let's uh, save just in case I screw something up. And, oh, I need to get a little closer. Okay, let's see. So if I go there, hmm. Thunderhawk might go into direct combat with the upper group there because I'm within four tiles of them, but that's okay. We'll just go here. Although Thunderhawk will probably still try to keep their distance and attack from range. All right, there you go. And the nice thing about poison elemental attacks is, well, they can inflict poison on the enemies there. But it's a random chance of that happening. And I never really count on poison. It's a pretty terrible status element, like all good Squaresoft games. Okay, so you should be able to take out that group there. So let's see, do I want to get a little closer? If I go here, I could just barely get over to the Ice Magi, but they'll probably see that coming. But I'm going to take advantage of it anyway. Okay, so let's go there, and then, hmm. You know, the idea of what I wanted to do was have Salmando attack this group, soften them up a little more, because I'm not necessarily sure that, yeah, Mandalite's group would be able to finish them off otherwise. So, actually, let's go here, so that way, hopefully, Salmando will not go after that Ice Magi group. We'll see what we can do here. But, uh, okay, so, with these guys, yeah, we can easily finish them off with a single Earth hit there. And I don't need to specify targets for Earth Pulse. They'll auto-target if that one guy gets killed. That was a little closer than I thought it would be, but, uh, oh, right, more Earth Grass. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say it earlier. More party members, because we got those two uh, mini devil party members there, and the t another wizard there, and what else was there? Oh, uh, yeah, we got uh, two more heavy armors as well. I think that's everyone. But, uh, yeah, you notice some of our party members from the first battle are gone. Uh, Diana and Frederica, I think it was, the priests, and the light armor missed. So, fortunately, we got a different light armor in our group now. But, uh, okay, so, got that going there. I think we can one-shot them. And it looks like I'm gonna have to, because, yeah, I don't have any elemental damage spells for Molten yet. But, uh, okay, so if we do that... Okay, yeah, I think you can get a little closer to these guys. And what else? Yeah, let's set... Yeah, Ice Drake to come. And at this point, it would be okay if Ice Drake decides to go after those Ice Magi. They are within range if Ice Drake goes far enough. But they might... Ice Drake might not do that anyway. Sometimes their AI is just a little too passive there. But, uh, okay, hopefully we got the damage. Yes! Okay. It's a little concerned there. It's not like a Final Fantasy Tactics where they tell you, hey, here's the amount of damage you're going to deal, or you'll probably deal, or within a range. No, you, you don't know how much damage you're going to deal until you actually do it. Hmm, let me see how my Earth Grass supply is doing. We seem to be getting a little more 
drawer things than I usually do. I mean, it's okay. I'm not gonna save scum to get earth grass. It's not worth that much. But I do want to get 10 from this battle. Let's see what we got. So if you want to see what your inventory looks like, there's two item uh, commands here. The one is for using items on your own party. But if you want to see everything in your inventory, like equipment and other dragon food items, let's see. Okay, we got the 10 earth grass. So we're good to go. I would like to win more, but 10 is good enough for my needs there. And it looks like the earth magi are going to come around soon. So let's go there. Oh, does anyone need healing there? Did you guys take some hits? Let's see, a little bit there. But uh, let's see, how are you guys doing? Okay, you guys are doing much better. So yeah, why don't we just go here, then go white magic, white drug on the battlefield there. Heal them up a little bit, since I don't want to go too far forward. And most likely, the sleep spell wouldn't work on the Ice Magi anyway, because they got pretty good magic stats going on there. But they should start getting a little more aggressive now that we've defeated all the other soldiers. Or they could just still attack us from range. Why not? Well, hopefully the lower Ice Magi group will get more aggressive. Or not. I guess they're smart enough to not walk into an ambush or anything like that. But can we successfully take back our flagship from the Grand Bellos Empire? Find out next time on Let's Play Bahamut Lagoon. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!